starting uh, with the introduction of the new product that we have unveiled uh, today. So initially I will be giving you just a brief about this particular product. So the product that we have launched today is the MID series, uh, that is the X2 series, uh, which we are talking about. And uh, the main highlight of this particular inverter is that this particular range starts from 33 kilowatt onwards and goes up to a maximum of 50 kilowatt. And the second important feature that uh, we have with this uh, particular inverter is that we are providing a maximum swing current of 16 amperes. So just taking you through other salient features of this particular uh, inverter, let's start with the presentation. So majorly we will be covering what are the different market trends that is uh, occurring right now for the CNDI market and definitely the introduction and the features of this particular inverter. So starting on uh, with the uh, different trends that are uh, available. So as we know now, uh, right, uh, right now, more of the panels which are available are coming in high voltage, starting from 550 onwards and right now the maximum uh, rating that we are having is up to 650 kilowatt. So in order to cater this particular market, we need to have a string current of maximum capacity. Apart from that, what we are expecting is that we should have a longevity of the product that we are using. So considering the overall R&D that we have done, the overall life expectancy of this particular inverter is more than 25 years. And yes, as I've already mentioned that we have increased the string current for this particular inverter. So when we are considering any inverter for your CNDI applications or for that matter utility applications also, so the most important thing or the aspect that we look after is the LCOE. Apart from that, when we are having multiple number of MPPTs, the mismatch losses that can occur on the DC side can be eliminated. And apart from that, the higher DC to AC ratio helps us to reduce the overall BOS cost. Second and the most important thing is the protections. So when we are talking about our inverter, we are providing by default type 2 protections on AC as well as on the DC side. Apart from that, AFCI, that is Arc Fault Current Interrupter, is being provided as an optional feature with this particular inverter. Uh, thirdly, uh, when we want to reduce the PID effect, that is the potential induced uh, degradation that occurs on the panel side, that can also be reduced with the help of the uh, PID recovery function that we are providing with this particular inverter. And definitely, as uh, this particular inverter comes with only two uh, number of inputs per MPPT, it becomes a fuseless design, which again helps you to reduce the O&M uh, cost that can occur due to blowing of fuses. And already my colleague has explained that we are providing uh, OSS as well as online smart services and different uh, uh, monitoring provisions. So with the help of that, definitely, the service time can be reduced up to 80%. So yes, now coming on to the main part, what are the different features and what are the different applications that we are providing with this particular inverter? So as we have already mentioned, uh, this is just an overview for a CNDI application where multiple numbers of uh, MID inverters are being uh, used. So you can see, uh, basically, if you are having more number of inverters, you can go with our data logger, that is the uh, Shine Master, uh, with the help of RS485, or for individual inverter monitoring, you can go with our Wi-Fi or GPRS option. Also, uh, we are providing uh, free cloud services, as I have already mentioned. So you can monitor your plant on our application, or on our portal, and which is completely free for 25 years. So yes, uh, right now uh, the salient features of our inverters, we have bifurcated into four different segments. So uh, starting on with the higher yield. Whenever we are talking about any inverter, efficiency plays a very important role. What is exactly an efficiency? Basically, it is the conversion that is happening from your DC to AC side. And maximum the efficiency, the maximum the output that you will be getting from the inverter in terms of units, which will help you to gain more generation. 
Second and the most important thing for uh, introducing this particular inverter in the market is the availability of high current modules in the uh, coming years. So if you're talking about monofacial modules, bifacial modules, or the high current modules, so all these inverters, uh, sorry, all these particular modules are coming up with a uh, current of uh, 13 amperes and more. And to cater that particular market for the CNDI, we have come up uh, with an inverter having a string current of 16 amperes. Uh, this particular options that we are having for the inverter comes from 33 kilowatt onwards and goes to a maximum of 40 kilowatt. And they come up in uh, two different uh, options. Uh, that is 33 and 36 will be coming in three number of MPPTs, whereas 40 and 50 kilowatt will come in four number of MPPTs. Uh, now, if you're talking about the power density innovation, so uh, in this particular, uh, uh, what we mean by power density? So uh, the total output that the inverter gives you in the less amount of space that is available. So if you see this particular 50 kilowatt inverter, it weighs only 37 kgs. So this particular inverter can be easily installed by a single or two persons at a time. The third and the more, uh, most important thing is the safety and reliability. As uh, we have already covered that particular issue, so as it is coming with uh, two number of inputs per MPPT, it becomes a fuseless design. So there is no requirement of connecting any additional fuses. Also, this is IP66 rated. So you can easily install this particular inverter in the outdoor environment. Also for the protection from lightning, we are providing type 2 SPDs on AC as well as on the DC side. And AFCI that I have already mentioned, that is arc fault current interrupter, which can happen due to loose connections on your DC side or for that matter any short circuit that is happening or cutting off the cable. So inverter can easily protect itself if there is any sort of error that is happening on your DC side. And the last and the important thing is the smart monitoring. So these particular inverters, we are providing individual string monitoring. So uh, what it means is that each and every string that is connected to the inverter, we can monitor it for voltage as well as for the current. And along with that, we are providing the inbuilt feature of IV curve diagnosis. That is, you can easily plot your IV curve from the inverter itself for uh, just having a consideration that is any one of the string that is connected to the inverter is pro uh, behaving properly or having any sort of uh, error. So that can be easily monitored with the help of IV curve diagnosis. And the last important thing is online monitoring and maintenance. So any sort of parameter change that you need to carry out can be done uh, remotely. It is not required each and every time for an engineer to visit the site and to carry out these changes. Uh, I have already mentioned the newer modules, the PV modules that are available in the market are having a string current of around 13 to 14 amperes or even more than that. So to cater that category, we have come up uh, with this particular inverter having a string current of 16 amperes. So uh, our one more series that is the MAX series is already prevalent in the market and uh, we have sold uh, I don't, uh, many more units uh, not only in the Indian market but in the global market. So if you just see the comparison in terms of density as well as in terms of no wait, you can see our max 50 kilowatt inverter that we launched in the year 2019, it weighs around 82 kgs. So it definitely needs two or three persons for the installation purpose. But the new MID series, that is the MID 50 inverter, it is weighing only 37 kgs. So there is a drop of around 60% in terms of size and in terms of weight. So definitely when you are going for any sort of CNDI application where you are having, uh, you can say, uh, constraints in terms of installing uh, the inverter or the area, definitely this particular inverter will help you out. And because of its low weight, it can be easily installed.